What's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. Now, before we jump into today's video, you should have know what you should have been did, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to save the world. We're trying to save as many people as we can. So make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity, brother. Now, look. Feel free to donate to the PayPal, to the Cash App. All links will be down below in the description. This is free hip, free. This is free will here. Ah, uh, you don't have to do so. I get it. Now look, as you can see by today's title, man, we got another rapper. We got a, another exposing to do. And today, this might be some of y'all favorite rapper, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. His name is Yeet. You know, some of y'all. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably listen to him because he's a very popular, trendy artist out right now. You know, I see a lot of people on Instagram listening to him as well. So I'm assuming he's his music go hard, you know. But we all know that all these rappers are low vibrational. We all know that they sold out. We all know that they sold out. You know, so we going for those of y'all that don't know who he is. We're going to be exposing him today. And we got the truth talk. Yeet admits to taking the oath. So let's see, man. And listen, if y'all got any conspiracies that y'all want me to, t that y'all want me to react to, make sure to send it to me on my Instagram. Links would be down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Any videos y'all want me to react to, send it to me on all social medias, and I will react to it. So let's, without further ado, let's just jump into it, man. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the rising artist Yeet admitting to taking the oath. But before we get into this episode, I have a quick announcement. I will be hosting a giveaway for my subscribers when this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers and subscribe to my second. I'll also be hosting a YouTube channel with a lot of you guys commenting asking me to cover the artist Yeet. I always listen to you guys and after looking into him, you guys are indeed correct. Yeet is someone we need to talk about. Ye is the hot new rapper all the kids seem to be talking about nowadays. He had a couple songs blow up out of nowhere on TikTok and he has been rising quickly since. As of today, he has several songs with millions of views. He I ain't gonna lie, he looks like a plant. He looks like an industry plant. Bro. He also managed to get 1 million followers on Instagram and TikTok. Ye has even managed to get a music video done by Cole Bennett, Lyrical Lemonade, which in hip hop can really make an artist's career. He has also been seen with superstars like Drake and Uzi, showing that the bigger artists are. You know, once they with Drake, a, a artist of such big stature like that, you know they had to do something to get in that position. <laughs> My man's put the track there right there, but you know they had to do something to get in that position. And he's with Uzi, like Uzi. Why is your hair looking like you punk? And look at the handshake they're doing. This this not no regular handshake, but y'all some of y'all might think I'm reaching, but this this probably is some demonic handshake, bro. It's probably like a brotherhood handshake right here. Like bro. Already aware of him and are choosing to co-sign him before he truly goes mainstream. If we take a second to analyze his rise, things start not making sense. How did he go from zero to a hundred career wise so quickly? Yeet was basically an unknown artist a few months back. Now, he's the next hottest thing in hip-hop with a rapidly growing fan base overnight. In my opinion, Yeet's rise clearly points to him being an industry plant. Getting all those industry cosigns... And let me say this, right? A wise person, you know, once said, it takes years to become an overnight success. And that stuck with me. You know, a lot of people don't see the, the struggles, the blood, sweat, the tears that takes a person to get to success a lot of people don't see that so you know when he said that i'll be like when someone says that you can't really look at it like that because you don't know you don't truly know how hard someone worked to get to where they are you know so that's the only thing i'll disagree with but he does have a point though you know when you see these rappers just out of nowhere just blow up you gotta wonder why, like it's always a bigger agenda behind it. But yeah, that's just my two cents. So early in his career is a telltale sign of being an industry plant. I have also seen a pattern when it comes to Cole Bennett music videos, launching new artists' careers. They all seem to be industry plants that are using Cole Bennett's platform to get on. 
Usually, rappers just don't blow up one day to the next. Yeet started seeing some recognition in 2021 after he released his second mixtape that year called 4L. His song called Sorry About That got some decent exposure and will lead him to getting signed to Interscope Records. Now this is another sign that Yeet is an industry plant created by the labels as in our current world record labels have the ability to use social media to their advantage and build up their label grown stars careers basically overnight. This is what we're seeing with Yeet's massive TikTok success. The labels pay big influencers to make TikTok videos using the artist's song in order to get it viral on TikTok. Once it's viral on TikTok, it starts to spread to other social sites and it helps to push his career to the mainstream. None of it is done organically as the artist's image and personality are created by the labels with the sole purpose of creating a superstar. Now we must talk about what Yeet admits he did in order to achieve his dreams. As we have seen with many other industry plants that we have covered symbolism pay attention to that as well covered on this channel yeet can be seen in many occasions showing his masonic alliance i have come to believe that yeet sold his soul to the devil for fame and fortune also pay attention to the skulls it's a, it's a, y'all might think i'm reaching but it's a lot of things that you got to pay attention to because a lot of these symbols that we all know today they all have a deeper meaning to it all right so pay attention to the one eye symbolism this is what truth is is trying to show us and pay attention to the, the skulls on his on his scarf. The reason I have come to this conclusion is no other than Yeet himself, as he admits this out of his own mouth. There's so many songs where he admits to selling his soul clear as day. In his viral song Money So Big, Yeet openly admits to his alliance with the devil. In the song he raps, about to tell you how I'm doing. I got the devil on my phone. He told me keep doing this. The devil taught me how to get rich. How many bands? Six six. Clearly out of his own mouth, Yee confesses to being in con- Oh yeah, that's clear as day. How many bands? Six, six. Clearly out of his own mouth, Yee confesses to being in contact with Lucifer and being instructed to continue what he is doing. He states that the devil is the reason he is rich and even throws 6-6 in there, which we all know stands for 666, the mark of the beast. Openly, he admits to what we speak about all the time on this channel. He made an alliance with Lucifer in order to achieve his dreams. In another one of his songs called Hey, he explains exactly how he sold his soul. In the song Yee raps, I went and tatted a demon on me. Then Then this started to happen. This start to work. I call my Twizzy. He out in a jam. What? This started to happen. This started to work. He is openly talking about tattooing a demon on himself, claiming it's the reason his career started to take off. We again see Yeet mention his deal with the devil in his song Lying for Fun. In the song he raps, linked with the devil, told him I just needed a signature. I ain't never sold my soul, but I just donated it to you. I just tatted all that on me. Then it happened. It's too true. signature me his autograph i ain't never sold my soul but i just donated to you i just had it all that on me then it happened it's too true yeah what because i'm like what reading this i'm like what <laughs> as you can see Yi is not shying away from telling the world that he made a deal with lucifer he also once again brings up the demon tattoo that he claims he got in order to get where he is i believe what Yi is truly referring to is him being an occultist like many of these big artists his overnight success did not only come from his talent but from a combination of talent and his occult practices as introducing the all-new ultra premium collection the best way to level up your grooming arsenal be on alert smooth team we have no idea how ungroomed these guys actually are. Z himself confirms that he sold his soul. The tattoo could possibly be linked to the ritual he did to summon the demon he keeps referring to. Just like many other industry plants, Yi can be seen showing his Masonic alliance with the one eye symbolism in many occasions. His signature look is placing a turban scarf over his head and covering one of his eyes. We can see him doing this in many occasions. Even the thumbnail for his music video, Turban, is him again with the one eye symbolism. And you know what's so funny, bro? A lot of young artists is coming up. They be doing this too. They be just frivolous, frivolously using the one eye symbolism. You know, not knowing that, you know, I'm pretty sure they know it's a deeper agenda behind it, but a lot of young artists would be doing this too. Now I'm starting to see where they're getting it from. Did he start that trend? Comment that down below, bro, because I, I, I want to know. 
escapism. Another thing I found interesting was the mixtape cover for his tape, I'm So Me. It clearly shows Yeet drawing a picture of himself playing Symbolism at its finest, bro. Symbolism at its finest. See, these artists don't care no more, bro. They gonna show us. They gonna put it right in our faces, bro. <laughs> they, gonna, they don't care no more. They put it in, in plain sight. Man. Playing chess with the devil. We can see stacks of money on the devil's side, indicating that Yeet serves Lucifer for his financial gain. The chessboard represents duality and also again refers to his deal with the devil. To me, things are connecting on how he blew up so quickly. Drake, Yachty, and many other Masonic puppets gave Yeet a cosign early in his career because he was already aligned with the Masonic order. The major labels gave him a deal, and in his own words, all this happened because he got a demonic entity tattooed on himself. To me, there's no greater proof that Yeet is another Masonic puppet who took the oath for his self-beneficial gain. It's always best to question these artists when they appear out of nowhere, as they're usually created by the record labels to push the Masonic agenda. Yeet raps about the same destructive morals that are plaguing urban communities all around. That's the thing I'm trying to say, like, you know, it might seem to the public eye, like, man, like, where did this artist come from? He wasn't popular a year ago, two years ago. But you also got to think, like, these artists had to start somewhere. They had to build their fan base somewhere, you know? So I don't believe in overnight success. I think it takes time for someone to be an overnight success. But as far as an artist's career really taking off to where he's chilling with Drake and Uzi, that just that just that doesn't just sit right. That just doesn't happen to everybody. You know, you had to do something to be chilling with Drake. To be chilling with Uzi and all these big artists. You had to do something, bro. I don't care what nobody said. You had to be you had to have done something. You know, because these, these top tier artists are not just going to allow a B-list celebrity around them. Like, nah, it don't work like that, bro. Around the country, these record labels have targeted urban communities with their agenda, using these rap stars to directly manipulate the youth. His music would influence millions of his young, impressionable fans to make poor life decisions. Lucifer would continue to use Yeet to guide those who are manipulated by him to a burning end. Sadly, people would listen to Yeet openly speak on his deal with the devil and just not care. The music industry used to secretly serve the Masonic agenda. Now it's being done so openly. Yeet is the hot new industry plant that sold his soul for temporary fame and fortune, traded his eternal soul for temporary happiness. We must always remember, as hard life might be, we must never sell out. We must all stay strong and find a way through our problems and keep our faith in God as he shall guide you so you may better serve him. Well, that's it for this video. Thank Everything Truth just said, man, that is, that is facts, man. See, a lot of these artists, they're not patient. They don't, they don't want to trust in God's plans. You know, they want quick overnight. You know, I'm not even going to say overnight, but they want quick success. This is a lot of these artists, man. They want to be so cool. They want to be so popular in the in the eyes of the public that they just are willing to sell themselves. And and it's so crazy, man. Like these these artists need God, man. They really do. <laughs> they really do, man. Like man, I just want to sit down with a with a big artist and ask him, like, what was going through your head? When you signed that that contract in blood, like what was going through your head? But comment down below your thoughts and opinion of this video, man. If you learned something new today, drop a like. Share the video with a friend. Share the video with a Yeet fan, you know, because there's probably a lot a lot of them out there. Um, you know, this video was very interesting, man. Like I said, if you got any other videos that you want me to to react to, make sure to send it to me on my Instagram. My Instagram will be down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're new. And listen, man, I'll catch you in the next one, and I'm out.